Hello, everybody. Hello, Beacon. Hello, scary death fall of scariness. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, we are going to have a fun episode today. I am in a good mood. I am ready to record. Yes, it's been a while, but life happens, and I'm excited. This is going to be a fun, fun little episode. I got a lot of stuff I want to get covered today, and just as importantly, a lot of stuff I want to talk about this episode. So it should be a good one. I finally got a beacon. Took 35 episodes. <laughs> so the first task I want to get done today, which you can see right here, is I've decided I'm not going to put an actual real roof on my base down there on my storage ring. I, I do know what I want to do. The plan is kind of clear now, so hopefully that'll be unfolding over the next, I don't know, I won't even put a, put a guess on it, 10 episodes maybe, who knows. Um, but I do want the rain to stop down there. It's, it's kind of annoying me. Am I doing this right? Yeah, okay. It is kind of annoying me, and, you know, it's time. It's, yeah. So the trade-off is I'll have this big glass kind of obstruction floating in the sky but the the bonus is you know no uh no rain falling on my head so that's a trade-off i think it's worth it so that's what i'm going to do here but unfortunately the storage room down there is 50 by 50 so yeah 2500 blocks of glass i need to do this so i'm not going to do it all today nor am i going to do it on camera but i am doing this section here I want to get this done because that's going to be required. Dits. That's an interesting word. Dits. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be required for one of the next projects that I want to do. So let me finish up this little quadrant here and we'll be good to go. Yeah, that should be enough for today. I got like one quarter of the storage room done there, but it'll definitely be enough for today. If I'm, if there's a better way of doing this, guys, let me know. I tried string, but uh, obviously that doesn't stop the rain, so as far as I know, this is the best way to accomplish what I want, but if I'm doing something stupid, I trust you guys will, will let me know in the comments. So uh, let's let's get busy today. Woo! Yeah. That's not too bad, actually. I thought the glass was going to be a bit more obnoxious, but you really can't even tell it's there. Maybe it'll work worse at, uh, maybe it'll look worse at nighttime, we'll see, but not too bad. Can't complain. All right, the first project that I want to do today is going to be over here. Finally going to get to it. I mentioned it in a recent episode, I think. We're finally going to do this quadrant here. <laughs> for those of you guys that have been here for a long time, I think like episode 10 or so, I did my four elemental quadrants, water, fire, earth, and this is supposed to be air. And I guess you could argue it's the most accurate because that's all it is, is air. <laughs> so I kind of, you know, I've been playing with different ideas. I was I was waiting for silk touch here so that I could put some cobwebs up to hopefully look like clouds. I played with some light blue wool going down the side so it just kind of looked like sky. Bottom line, I wasn't happy with anything I was seeing, so meh, scrap it. Not happening. Instead... It is going to be the ice quadrant. So I've got some ideas that'll make it kind of fun here, I think. So yeah, this is going to be the ice quadrant. There is some ice over there, so if I really want to be technical, I should probably kill the ice over there. But yeah, we're going to have earth, fire, water, and ice instead. I know it's not a different element, but whatever, you know. it's It'll look better than air, trust me. All right, since this is the ice quadrant, we're obviously going to need lots of snow. So I built a little impromptu snowman generator, you know, kind of like the one I crushed a few episodes back. <laughs> oh, well, not exactly hard to make. But I assume most of you guys know this trick where if you just kind of enclose a snowman here, you can kind of just smash on his snow and collect infinite snowballs. Pretty easy. You know, there's slightly better designs here that will collect the snow better, but whatever. This is obviously temporary. Someday I'll actually dig out a real a real snow farm, probably when I make an ice farm too, but today's not that day. So I made myself a whole bunch of iron shovels, so we're going to tear through those and see where we go from there. All right, first things first here, we're going to set the beacon here. Yeah, I got it currently on haste 2, which is kind of my default when I'm doing any kind of building, but... 
This project today doesn't require any real digging, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up on speed there. I think, yeah, I think eventually what I wanna do though is probably get like maybe three, maybe even five beacons here. Although I think, yeah, five is actually, I mean, I can get all of them, but what do I really want? I want speed, haste, jump all the time would be nice. Resistance, strength, eh, not so much. So yeah, maybe I'll just go three, but Speed for now, definitely, so I can do things like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm eight years old. <laughs> and now that that's out of my system, I went ahead and kind of finished off this quadrant in here, did my normal uh, stone brick kind of outline there, and threw a dirt uh, platform down here so I can build. So, as I said, this is going to be ice, the ice quadrant, snow quadrant, whatever you want to call it, all kinds of cold things are going to live here. So, what I've got in mind is obviously a lot of snow here. Uh, I'm going to kind of spin out the perimeter here, and does that need to be, if I can just, yeah, got to add a slab there, I'll get that one later. And, let's see. Let me get some dirt here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get a base of snow uh, along the walls here and a nice floor, kind of right at the level I'm standing on now. And we'll go from there, I think. I think I'm going to have like, yeah, snow coming down here. No, not like that. Snow, 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 and snow, 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 and snow. You get the idea. Yeah, that should be a good starting point, I think. Drop down a little bit here, which I'll explain why in a little bit. And I want to start kind of covering these walls here. I want to, the goal is I want to make it look like kind of natural snowfall in here. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to talk about, recently I had the opportunity, I got invited by a um, YouTuber named Mobbin Minecraft. You guys might have heard of him. He just hit his 5k subs and he sent me a message and said, Hey, I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different for my uh, 5k special and I'd like you to be part of it. I said, sure, what'd you have in mind? And it turns out he wanted to just do like a fun PVP kind of thing. And so I said, yeah, because that's actually something I've been yeah, obviously wanting to do. I've talked about that in the past here. Uh, let's see. Du, du, du. Yeah, we're going to go like that. And... So we did that. Make a long story short, he, you know, he invited me. Uh, Zaptrocity was there. Um, Graphoniac was there, and a bunch of other really cool people. I think there was like eight of us, or maybe ten of us. I don't know. But we played the PvP map Nail, and it was it was a lot of fun. First time I'd ever played. Um, I did record it, but yeah, for for a host of reasons, it didn't really work out. Um, the first was, you know, there was some quality issues. Uh, one or two of the guys had some serious background noise, so that was pretty annoying. Um, I wouldn't have let that alone stop me from putting it out, though. Uh, but, you know, it was like all of us, except Mobbin himself, I think it was like our first time playing, or first time playing and for a long time. And we were all kind of new to PvP and stuff, <laughs> as you guys know. So... You know, it was like we, we started the first, uh, let's see here. Uh, is that good for the snow? All right, so I got that for the snow. Let's see, I want to get... Hmm. Yeah, my goal now is I want to kind of get some of these little snow... Uh, what are these things called? No, just plain old snow. And use these to kind of rough it up a little bit more. Make it feel a little more natural, if possible. That's weird. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the first match was like, we hit go, and our team, you know, we get in the base and everything, and it's like, all right, we're all set here, we got our, we got our sniper, you know, bows, we're all excited, and all that thing, trying to coordinate, like, who's going to do what responsibility, and like, literally 15 seconds later, Mobbin goes in and just takes the, kills both the sponges, and we're all like, okay, <laughs> the fireworks are going off, you guys have probably seen that map before, and it was just, it was humbling, we had no idea what we were doing. So we kind of realized, all right, this is, you know, to me it was kind of the first hint that, all right, this is not good quality. If I, if I, if I put the video up, you guys would just be face palming the whole time. So, but with that said, though, I had a lot of fun. I want to congratulate Mobbin on 5K, obviously. Apologize for not putting a video up. 
But I figured I'd mention it here and say that I had an absolutely great time. Uh, some of the guys were just, you know, really good. A lot of fun. A lot of fun was had that night. It was nice, honestly, to just kind of have a night where, you know, didn't have to worry about. Well, I was recording, so I was worrying about it. But why is it doing that? You guys seen that? Like sometimes I put one of these down and it goes, it goes down a level. Anyway, um, congrats to my uh, Marvin on 5K. Really want to thank him for the invite. And honestly, I hope, I kind of hope it happens again. You know, I want to, I'd like to do it more. Get us uh, a little bit more acquainted with the the nail map, and then maybe definitely put some uh, some episodes out. That'd be that'd be good times. Check it out. There it is again. Am I just like? crazy or something. Is that not how it works? I thought you just kept right-clicking and it would stack up, but some of these times I'm right-clicking and it's just going away. I don't know. Anyway, that's generally the idea I wanted to go with there. Uh, let's see. What else? Mm -hmm. Needs a little bit more over here. Can make up more blocks. Break you guys. Do this. Feels a little too steep. Maybe I need another another row of blocks right here maybe but I don't want to take up too much of the area here let's see if I do that and come on get up there there we go a little bit of that some of that some of that that and some of that what do you think is that looking like somewhat natural snowfall <laughs> as best I can do here let's do some of this here uneven these off a little bit good 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 Ice, ice, ice. We need some ice now. Of course, it is the ice quadrant after all. So I'm going to go ahead and start throwing some of these right in the kind of the edges here. Let's see. Get rid of you. I want to have it kind of flowing down into the snow, I think. I think. Let's see. Replace that. Replace that. And kind of going. Why can't I pick you up? Uh, inventory's full. Kind of thinking ice kind of flowing down and frozen along the edges here. I don't know. We'll see how this looks. This is going to be, wow, eh, nighttime. Crazy lag. And let's see, get another one over here. Maybe like that. Maybe that's good. i got to think about what I want to do for lighting in here, too. I wonder if there's some way I can... To my knowledge, you can't hide glowstone under a layer of snow. I don't think the light will come through, but I'm not really sure. I'll have to try that. And let's see here. So give me some... Hmm. Need to go get some smooth stone, I think. Put that down underneath the ice so that the ice is kind of sitting on it. Yeah, like those blocks down there. Uh, Alright, let me go get some smooth stone here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a noob. I put some ice down and broke it and washed away all my snow. So I had to rebuild it all. <laughs> Sometimes it's it's hard being dumb. But I got some smooth stone down there kind of as acting as a base for the ice. I kind of like the way it looks here. But then I went ahead and I found some special rocks here. And I think I'm going to put them here and here. I found these rocks here that already have ice growing in them. Amazing. They're just perfect for right here. Ice rocks. Who would have thought of it? All right. I think I'm mostly satisfied with how that bottom part's looking there. I'll probably tweak it a little bit more as we go. But next, I need to swap out this corner of the storage room, give it a little bit more of a, you know, frosty, cold look. So let's go ahead and make that happen now. There we go. Not too bad. Gives it the icy snow feel that I... <sighs> Guys, we already switched to the ice version. Can we cut back, please? Thank you. <sighs> I tell you. <sighs> anyway, there's the frosty version I like. I think the iron bars kind of add... <sighs> Hang on. Guys, listen. We already cut to the ice version. How many times I gotta tell you? We're trying to make a video here, right? Can you bring it back to the ice and just leave it there? Thank you. Ah, <sighs> these editors. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to fire those guys. Now it's time to have a little fun down here. I could, you know, I could stop right where we are, and I'd have my snow, and I'd have my ice, and it would be boring. So we're not gonna do that. Instead. In our frozen quadrant here, we're going to have some frozen inhabitants. 
Many of you probably would have guessed it, but we're going to have some snowmen kind of milling about in here. Kind of add a little character, a little life to the scene. You know how it is. But they are not going to be just mindlessly wandering around. The snowmen, they're going to be playing a little game. And the game is to see who can throw a snowball in the air the highest and scare the crap out of Tango. That's the rule. <laughs> That's the game. So the way this is going to work now, this will be a little fun little activity, is I'm going to put some pressure plates like there and there, I think, okay? Now, the snowman, I'm not sure how many there's going to be in here. Six, ten-ish, I don't know, it doesn't matter. They're going to be walking around here, do-do-do, I'm a snowman, I'm so happy, it's nice and cold, you know, all that good stuff. And eventually they're going to go, oh, oh me, oh my, I happen to have stepped on a pressure plate. <laughs> and when they do, uh, let's see, right, right around here, let's see. Yoink, perfect. Now get me a single snow slabish, whatever you call them, there. And smooth it out a little bit so you can't even tell it's there. Now the idea is they're going to go, hello, click, and when they do, a snowball is going to shoot from that dispenser and go Bee! up in the air. And it's just going to add a little little background, you know, little, little fun thing. I don't know, it really serves no purpose, but it makes me smile. And you know what? That's all it's about. So... <laughs> Let's see, I got that one right there, so if I want to mirror that, we're going over here, I think. And some of that, some of that, 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 okay. Now I think when the snowmen are walking around here, they're going to, I'm not sure what the rules are for when they add snow or not, but I think the snowball will shoot through this, through one layer of snow, but like if I had like that, It'd be like, no, nah, I don't think so. That's not happening. So I think just one will work. So that's the plan here. So now I've got to get below and hook all this up. All right, we're down here below the snow. Below the snow. <laughs> I'm such a rhymer. All right, we got, you can see our, uh, what are these things? Uh, dispensers, yeah. Those guys are there, and I think we got a pressure plate right there. So we're gonna go boink boink, and swammy something like that. And now I want to get a dropper pointing up into that guy, and this is probably not gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna mock me. Uh, all right, coming through. Excuse me, pardon me. And let me jump up here, and maybe this will work here. Let's try, try a little jump action here. I think that got it. All right, let me throw some snowballs in here now and hop back down. I'm not honestly sure if this is gonna work. So you hit the pressure plate, it comes in, it sends a signal to the d dropper here, which should try and push a snowball up into the dispenser. But at the same time, when this block is powered, I think it's going to shoot the dispenser up in the air. So let's, uh, let's give that a shot. Uh, right there. All right, now let's see. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, look at me, I'm a snowman. Woo! <laughs> so utterly pointless, but I love it. It entertains me. Uh, all right, I'm going to wire up the rest of them just like that. All right, all four pressure plates should be hooked up now. There we go. <laughs> And yeah, so the other thing I did down here is I swapped this stone block out here. That is actually not a full snow block, it's actually a full stack of snow layers. And the reason for that is that does not block light. So I got a glowstone kind of strategically placed back there. So a little bit of light will shed out here, but not enough to melt these ice blocks, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Eventually one will probably just melt any second now. Uh, but yeah, that was a little trick, so light can come through so at nighttime this will be at least a little bit lit up but mm, I don't know we'll see it might we'll see if it's too dark or not but now you guys are probably sitting here saying to yourself you know tango cute game and all but those dispensers are gonna run out of snow in about 60 seconds and you know what you're right they will so next piece of the little project here is to go solve that problem nothing too fancy Nothing an excessive amount of hoppers won't fix, that is. <laughs> so, 
we got our dispensers down here, which are automatically going to pop, or droppers down here, which are automatically going to populate the uh, dispensers above it. So we just need to feed these guys basically. So if we do something like this, now, ideally, they would come from a single stream and just kind of somehow evenly distribute between them, but couldn't think of a good way to do that. So instead, I'm just going to kind of do something like, let's just do one line here first. What I want to do is, oh, hang on, let me let me zip up there. I'll show you. It'll be a little bit more clear from up front here. From up here now, I want to be able to, I'm going to take this block out here and put a hopper down in there so that you really can't even see it. And that's going to be my snowball refueling system. I'm going to come by here and just dump like a whole inventory or so of snowballs in here. And they're going to go down through the hopper chain, down behind the ice wall, and fill up those droppers down below. That's the plan. So I think, let's see. Uh, yeah, if I break that, we're gonna I'm going to be sad. So why, why can I not place dirt right there? That was weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. Need to go there, there. And all right, you got iron bars there. So, oh, oh, good. I didn't have a block below it. Perfect. I mean, I knew that, of course. <laughs> all right, so down below here is probably gonna run into some. Uh, gonna run into the snow real quick, I think. Oh no, it goes all the way down. All right, perfect. So break you, break you, and break you, and I'll come back and tidy this up in a second. Let's hop down here and see if we can see where that's coming through. And there it is, perfect. All right, so hoppers then need to come, let's see. Uh, oh, I need to get a double chest. Okay, uh, all right, let me cut and I'll finish this up. And that'll do it. Did a little double chest uh, ping pong action all the way up to the top there to get a whole ton of storage here for snowballs. And then I got two lines both pulling out of this bottom chest. So this line right here, pulls this way and goes over to that dropper and this one here pulls this way as you can see and heads over to that dropper so yeah it'll probably not fill them up evenly but as long as I keep the system full then both lines will stay totally full so and then yeah up there the hoppers just go right up to the little drop area that I was talking about so I think we're done here I need to fill this all up with some snowballs which I don't think I'm gonna do right now but I will do it soon and I think that means there's only one thing left to do up there and welcome to your new home, my frosty little friends. One more. There we go. All right, you guys going to show off the system or what? Thinking about moving? Thinking about it? Uh-oh. Oh, did I make it so that that guy can get out? No, he's just going to bounce there a lot. Oh, one guy shot one. I got to make sure that they can't get out. I was pretty careful down here, but I forgot about him going up there and over, so... I think you just got cut. There we go. That'll solve that problem. Come on, someone else. Oh, that didn't work. Come on, why not? Why you no shoot? Can't be out already. Hmm. I have to test this myself. Eh, not working. Alright, let's see here. What did I do wrong? No. Come on. Oh, okay, because <laughs> that guy's standing. Okay, yeah, it works fine. Uh, snow. All right. Yeah, it didn't work because that guy's just camping the pressure plate there. So once he's off, because it's already getting a signal from him, and these guys should still work. Yep. All right. <laughs> Love it. And last but not least, of course, is gonna be this guy. Oh, hope you can't get out, can you? Let's see if I can. Come on. Why can't I put a slab there? Come on. Ah, he's all glitching. Come on. There we go. That works. I like to think of that guy as our foreman up there, maybe, for the uh, for his worker minions down below. I don't know. But I like having that guy up there. Got some more ice rocks up above his head, too, of course. And I think we're done here. Um, yeah, in case you guys didn't figure it out, the reason I did the glass over this quadrant is so that when it does rain, these guys don't kick it. But I do suspect they'll die for other reasons. There's probably something else I'm forgetting that's going to kill them. But 
they'll be easy enough to replace. We'll see. As long as they're not just dying like all the time. But come on, anybody want to step on one? Send one more up? No, no, guys. Come on, don't don't give me those blank stares. Do your job. Entertain me. So I've discovered that having a beacon is kind of like getting a tattoo. Once you get one, you pretty much want to get another one, and then another one, and then another one. So I'm out here at my wither farm. No luck there, but I have had some luck here. I got six wither skulls. I actually had one left over from when Impulse and Graf and I were farming, but I'm pretty beat up here. I'm pretty much out of food. My helmet's dead. My boots are dead, so it's time to head back. I'm just going to give one last little pass here. Hey. You can have a skull for me? No? What do you think? Can I drop one? Yes? Let's see. Oh, he lied. Lies. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Alright, let's head back to base, and I think we might be killing a wither again today. I'm hungry for more. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. We are gonna kill a wither down here. I am very far from my base, just in case uh, things don't work out as planned here. We're at y equals 4. I buried myself underground, and we're going to spawn a wither right here. We're going to take him out. But I, I'm not going to swing my sword. I'm not going to shoot my bow. I'm not going to lift a finger to kill this guy. I'm going to simply sit back and give him the evil stare and wish him dead. And I'm pretty sure he's going to die. Well, that and because I... I'm kind of bringing along some friends here that I think are going to be very happy to dispatch him. Dog! No. Get out. Thank you. Don't be suffocating, man. I need your health. <sighs> so, yeah, I got a good spot here. I got the wither down in the bottom there so when he blows up he's obviously going to take this out but I'm going to have this room filled with lots of golems let me see how many I can get in here I'm hoping I can get all eight or nine in here but it's going to get it's going to get awfully crowded and dun, dun, dun. Yeah, see they're already they're already oh get out of the wall gotta summon them right here in the middle here <laughs> this is going to be interesting. It's either going to be a colossal just disaster or it's going to be epic. I'm not quite sure what is going to happen, but based on what I saw from our previous fight there, I'm pretty sure that these guys are going to tear him up. My only concern is that he goes up too high. Like if he tears out too much of the ceiling here, then it's going to be it's going to be bad bad times ahead. But I think we're going to be in the clear here. Let me see. All right, let me finish clearing this room up here. Or filling this room up with uh, with the big boys. Hang on. <laughs> All right, we got nine iron golems in here. Very tight quarters. These guys are getting a little antsy. I got my wither mostly formed here. Just waiting on the last head. Uh, I'm really hoping I put this down here. He's going to obviously blow out this uh, cobble here and stuff. But he should be right at the height with these nine golems they should just lay into them like a freight train and just tear them up is that's the plan we'll see what happens i got my little hidey hole back here i am going to watch from right about here and i'm debating if this is insanely too close but i kind of want to see what happens debating putting a fence here to block some more blast but We'll see. I'll probably die in the process, but it's going to be funny. The fight should be over in less than 15 seconds, I'm hoping. Got my ender chest here, and I did <laughs> dig a little escape hatch here, just just in case. But if I'm if I'm running out that escape hatch, then yeah, bad times ahead, because I've got a loose wither in my world that can't be contained. All right, are we ready? <laughs> here we go, boys. Light them up. I'm out of here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Bam! Tear him up. Ha <laughs> ha! Wreck him! Wreck him! Oh, you don't stand a chance, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, that was so epic. 
Uh, everybody's withered and sad. Where's the star? There it is. Oh, that was so easy. This is how you kill a wither from now on. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. <laughs> I love it. Alright, let me see if we're gonna find my way back to base. Hmm. So I did have three more heads, and you're probably wondering, why didn't I just kill another wither? I had the stuff there. Definitely would have been easy, but... I have something I need to do with the other... with two of the other heads here that... I've been promising to do for a long time. And for those of you guys that have been waiting, we need to put some heads on spikes. <laughs> so let me pillar up here and uh, see if I can do it without looking like an idiot. There we go. Not possible, apparently. Let me balance across the lava here and finally, finally place one of these guys right there. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably screaming it's such a waste, but there will be more. There will be many more heads, don't worry. And I kind of want him facing out a little bit, so let me get over here. Yeah, I should have angled that guy a little bit differently. Oh well. Perfect. Now the quadrant is the way I have wanted it for a while. I feel like I should probably do a little bit more with this quadrant, just the, the flat fire looks kind of plain, but having those heads there is kind of nice now. <laughs> I like it. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode, I think. I did not get to nearly all the things I wanted to this episode, so that's kind of good and bad. You know, it's bad that I didn't get to it, but it's good that that means I know what I'm doing next episode. Hey, what is this? What, what, who are these people getting invited into my... I got such a zombie problem down here. But anyways, as I was saying, it does mean that I know exactly what I'm doing for next episode, so I should hopefully get started on it right away. But I do want to spend one night, I'm thinking of an, a tutorial that, if it turns out to work the way I want, is going to be pretty epic. But we'll see. It's probably a long shot. Uh, and then other than that, I still got some topics I want to talk to you guys about, but I'll have to wait till next episode then. Alright guys, till next time.